Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can collect logs from Azure Virtual Machines and ingest these logs to a log analytics workspace so this data can be further analyzed by a tool like Microsoft Sentinel. Let's dive in. In my test environment, I have a Windows Server 2022 Azure Virtual Machine, and also I've got a Microsoft Sentinel instance. Let's go back to Azure homepage. First of all, let's create a data collection role. Now a data collection role is basically a set of instructions that we are giving to Azure in terms of what data we would like to be collected from our virtual machines. You can access data collection rules in two ways. You can either go to the main search bar and search for data collection rules. You will see under services data collection rules. If you click on it, it'll take you directly to the data collection rule service. Otherwise, you can go to Azure monitor, scroll down and under settings, you will see data collection rules. Let's create our first data collection rule. So I'm going to click create. In here, we need to give it a meaningful name. I'm going to call it Windows Logs 2. And if you have multiple subscriptions, make sure that you have selected the correct subscription. I'm going to select an existing resource group. For the region, I'm going to select Central India. Make sure that you select the correct region according to your deployment. Platform type is Windows. Now, data collection endpoint, this is an optional setting. It is useful if you're using Azure private links in your Azure environment. For this tutorial, we are not going to talk about that specific feature. So I'm going to leave it as none and we will click next. In here, we are going to select our virtual machine. So click add resources. I'm going to select our Azure virtual machine, click apply and let's click next. In here, we're going to add a data source. Now data source type, there are several options. For this tutorial, we are going to look at Windows event logs. Now in here, you have the option of ticking everything if you want all this information ingested to your log analytics workspace. But as a best practice, make sure that you only select what you need to be sent to your log analytics workspace. You have the option to select custom logs as well and put the X path specifying a specific event ID if you want only that event logs to be forwarded to the log analytics workspace. You can get this information by going to our friend ChatGPT. Just ask for the basic XPath queries. And for example, if you want to get failed logons, the event ID is 4625. So basically copy this and you can come back in here and then paste it and click add to add that specific event ID. I'm not going to do that in this tutorial. I'm just going to go with the basic settings and I'm going to select security events for this tutorial and click next. Let's add a destination. Destination type is Azure monitor logs. Subscription is automatically selected and the destination details. This is my one and only Azure log analytics workspace. Now, if you have multiple log analytics workspaces, make sure that you select the correct log analytics workspace that you want this data sent to. If you want this data to be analyzed by Microsoft Sentinel, make sure that you select the log analytics workspace that is being used by your Microsoft Sentinel instance. I'm going to select add data source and let's click next. I'm not going to add any tags. Let's click next. Now it is going to go through a validation and once the validation has passed, you will be able to go ahead and click create to create the data collection role. Now I already have done this in my environment. As you can see, this is my data collection rule. Now, once you create the data collection rule, make sure that you wait for at least 10 to 15 minutes for the log collection to kick in for the Azure monitor agent extension to be set up on your resources. Now, if you go to data sources, you should see your 
event logs, whatever that you have set up to collect, you can check them in here and you can update what you're collecting. And if you want to check the resources that are being controlled or managed by this data collection rule, you can click on resources and it will show you your virtual machines in here. Now let's go back to Microsoft Sentinel and see how this virtual machine is sending data and how we can verify that the data is being ingested properly. So let's go back to Microsoft Sentinel and if I click on logs, I'm going to close this default pop-up and click on tables, log management. And if you click on heartbeat, click run, and it should show you some results from your virtual machines, which means that there is proper connectivity between your virtual machine and the log analytics workspace via Azure Monitor Agent. So the agent sits in the middle and agent pulls the data from the operating system of your Azure Virtual Machine and it forwards that data into the Log Analytics workspace. And we can review that information using a tool like Microsoft Sentinel. Now, if you wanna look at specific security logs, you can go back to the tables and click on events as well and click run. And in here, you will see security event logs as per the specifications that we provided in our data collection role. Now, if I expand one of these, you will be able to see a lot more information and your security staff members can further analyze this data and find out if everything is in order in your infrastructure. So guys, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, put them in the comments below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, take care and have a good day.